After the curing and drying process, some of the lower quality plant material is saved for extraction. I'm here with Daniel, the product development lead, to talk a little bit about the extraction process and really what goes on uh, to be able to create oils and things like that for patients to consume. So what's the main goal of the extraction process for you? Uh, the main goal is to produce an organic high quality extract uh, suitable to formulate products like uh, carts for vaporizers and uh, oils. So can you walk us through the steps of actually extracting oil out of a plant? I know there's a lot of methods, but what do you do specifically? Sure, yeah, we, are out, we have a multi-stage process where we use a sub-zero ethanol extract. Uh, we use that to produce a crude oil that goes through a solvent recovery to strip out the solvent. From there, we take that and put it through a short path distillation method. So that produces a really concentrated uh, distillate. Uh, we can use that distillate to formulate uh, vape carts, oils, gummies. Yeah. What type of plant material do you use for extract? Is it always the lowest quality or is it a mixture? Uh, it's a bit of a mixture. It depends on the post-processing and how they're going and the quality of the flower. Uh, if, if the flower that we grow isn't suitable uh, for flower packaging, it just comes to me. Are there any particular strains that you decide on for the oil process or is it just everything? It's just everything. We, we mostly decide based on cannabinoid content. So we'll use the high THC strains for a THC distillate and CBD for a CBD distillate. Do you use a variety of extraction methods or just stick to the one where you were focusing on building that crude oil? We stick to cold ethanol extraction. Um, we've avoided hydrocarbon mostly because when we were developing the process, we we were trying to go organic and we wanted to develop a closed loop system uh, just to mitigate uh, pollution and increase our like sustainability. So the solvent that we use, we're able to recover and reuse again. How do you monitor the quality of the oil that you're producing and how do you make sure that it is safe? Mm. We have a really robust uh, quality framework here. We follow GMP guidelines and the TGA guidelines. So each batch goes through third-party testing. Um, we test for residual solvents, pesticides, even though we don't use any heavy metals, um, all of the things outlined in the TGO. Are there any particular challenges during the extraction process? When we were developing the processes, uh, we went into them knowing that we wanted to be organic. Uh, so that was a bit of a challenge, but I'd say the most challenging thing has been uh, scaling up production um, from bench scale to GMP manufacturing. A lot of the equipment for cannabis manufacturing is available from North America. Um, so we've ended up building our own extraction equipment. So that's been quite good. Out of curiosity, what does the extraction equipment actually cost to either buy or create? I saw the big uh, spinny distilling machine, like that, that looks expensive. Yeah, uh, to create that, I mean, tens of thousands, but some of some of the um, professional extraction equipment is well into hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, for large scale production. No, that's cool. It, uh, it just looks like one fancy bong setup to me, to be honest. Yeah. Um, like just looking over here, I'm like, oh yeah, I've used those clips on my bong before. I don't want the stem to come out. I get it. Yeah, a lot of photos get taken onto it. <laughs> How does Superbly Green's commitment to organic impact your extraction process? Mm, significantly. Uh, every stage of the extraction process, we try to utilize organic and sustainable methods. So for example, the solvent that we utilize is organic. Um, the, the system itself is closed loop, like I was saying earlier. So when mitigating waste streams where we can to just try and uh, be as sustainable as possible. The, the flower material that we use uh, is organically grown. So at every stage, it, it, it affects it, yeah. What's the most uh, rewarding part of working in extraction for yourself? Um, I'd say when I talk to people about my job and they share stories about how these cannabis products positively impact them or the lives of the people that they love, it's, it's always interesting and heartening to hear those stories. How did you get into cannabis technique? Did you go to uni? Where did you study this? How do you get a job extracting THC? Yeah, I, I have a Bachelor of Science in Applied Chemistry and Regenerative Agriculture. I have a lot of interest in ethnobotany and pharmacology. 
when I started here, I was actually working in the greenhouse um, and there was already some work done on bench scale extraction. So after speaking with Simon and a consultant of ours, Marty, um, we were able to improve that process and scale it up to production level.